one of those ones that they say they fly at night and with broom. Ah, those ones are not your problems. The witches and wizards, they tell you travel at night or come in form of bats or old. Those ones are not your problem. In Luke chapter 9, Jesus, the Bible says Jesus gave them authority and power over all the devil. That means the Okapatabada of all the devils and all his words, followers. The witches and wizards in Nigeria, they are small devils. God has given you authority and power over the big one. How much that one? And in Mark chapter 16, say nothing shall hurt you. You shall not be hurt. The witches and wizards I'm talking about, they are in the presidency, in the national assembly, in the senate, in government houses. They are civil servants. They are politicians. They are houses, Igbos, Yorubas. They are Catholics, Pentecostals, Protestants, Christians, Muslims. Those are the witches and wizards that kill more people in Nigeria. In fact, the other witches, I don't even know whether they have killed anybody. But these particular witches or wizards I'm talking about, they are responsible for thousands of deaths. If you are giving money to do road, and you don't do the road, and somebody has an accident because of bad road and die, what do you think you are? You are a witch. You have taken blood. You are giving money to equip hospitals. You refuse to build the hospital or even equip and the medication or medical attention that would have saved somebody is not only the person that's what do you think you are? It's a witch. We have them all over the place. That in Nigeria, pensioners will be queuing to take their pension of 50,000 and they wait and wait until some will die because somebody doesn't want to push their fine or somebody has swallowed the money meant for their pension. And you tell me you are a human being. No, you are a witch. Witch is sweet. You are a winch, winch, and a huge one. A winch. Those are the ones you should be afraid of. Forget about these ones that uh, some men of God tell you that those are not the ones. The witches and wizards that have killed destinies in Nigeria. They are presidents, governors, senators, members of House of Rep, civil servants, and contractors. Those are the ones that have killed all the deliverance you are running about for people to release your destiny. Those who are holding your destiny, they are in Asoroku. I am very serious about it. It's not the small witches. They say they are flying up and down. Those ones, they are looking for blood. If they don't see your blood, they will go and chop fruit and rest. You survive this kind of people in Nigeria, you should be happy. There's another set of witches or wizards, though, fake pastors and men of God. Those ones who have given people wrong pseudo-religious theories. They have destroyed marriages, bankrupted businesses, and make people to start thinking backward. They even block you from seeing where your real problem is coming. Men of God are coming to a family and brother will become afraid of his own brother. Relatives will no longer eat their food. Before you even shake a relative, you remember what they told you, that they are transferring power. If you have survived all these forces, just know that Psalm 91 is working in your life. He said a thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right. You, it will never approach because his faithfulness is buckler and shield. He said, your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. He has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. It can also be Psalm 125. Those who put their trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands firm forever. And as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. Help me tell somebody, God has surrounded you. God has surrounded you. That is the reason you are alive today. And I pray that you continue to surround you all the days of your life. Amen. In Nigeria, our average life expectancy is very low. What is keeping us alive aren't things you see physically, it's by the grace of God. That's why you should wake up and be thankful. In Nigeria especially, be thankful. So thank God for protection. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions, download the app from Google Play Store.